the good friend from Pennsylvania takes me to task for saying, why didn't we just do this on a suspension vote basis, just bring it up here and let it glide through, because nothing is simple when we're talking about these issues. There are some people who are out there on the radio calling NATO Nazis and saying that the money that Americans are putting into Ukraine are going to support Nazis, and I haven't heard anybody renounce or repudiate that point of view. And then there are others who find uh, far more substantive and defensible problems with what we're doing. But in any event, they've been voting against it, and so we were not able to do it as suspension resolution. So we bring it up to have a discussion about Ukraine to see if we can get unity, and then they take us off in 50 other uh, directions. And I, it's just, it's a, a sad thing to see that when President Zelensky and the people of Ukraine have demonstrated democratic courage, bravery, and valor to the entire world, and the democratic societies are trying to get together to mobilize behind democracy to oppose what Vladimir Putin and his gang of thugs in Moscow and their allies in different places like Orban in Hungary and, well, I don't want to get into the whole uh, rogues gallery of tyrants and bullies that they've gathered to support them. We've got to be building the democratic forces. We should be together on this. We should be able to think about this in a far broader way than just talking points for the next election. I reserve the remainder of my time. Gentleman from Maryland reserves. Gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, let me just be clear. We're not going down several roads. We're going down one road with this argument, and that's the southern border. I am willing to bet that this vote will pass, that the underlying bill will pass with over a two-thirds vote. We could have tried to run this on Tuesday. Even if it did fail, we could have been here running it today. We've delayed this when we have serious business to discuss, particularly the southern border. And that's what we're debating, the fact that the legislative business for today should include the crisis of the southern border. Mr. Speaker, to talk more about the crisis is my good friend, the good pharmacist from Georgia, Mr. Buddy Carter, and I yield him two minutes. Gentleman from Georgia is recognized.